In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make very simple lo-fi drum patterns. It's very easy and I hope I manage to help you understand about lo-fi drum patterns a little bit more. If you're interested in my content, then please like and subscribe. Let's get into the tutorial. The lo-fi drums are probably one of the easiest drums to make. Because of the point of lo-fi is to be slow and very calming, you don't have to go heavy on the drums. Right now, I already have some drums set up from the Damon Lo-Fi Drum Kit. If I can get the link, I'll put in the description. So I found this lo-fi loop on Splice. All I did was I added Origin to it, just to make it a bit more lo-fi. Next I have the Cymatics Eternity Bass. them both together. Just very simple. Now what I've done is I've sidechained the kick and bass. Um, I showed this in my trap tutorial on how to do it but I'll show you again now. You need to put your bass and kick in separate mixer tracks. Select the kick and press this little arrow here. You'll then get a wheel, just drag it all the way down. Next go to bass and add a fruity limiter and just do what I've done here. If you don't know what that does, basically it just dips the volume of the bass when a kick is there. Just like that. And lastly I've got a hi-hat, percussion and snare, put them on mixer track 4 and added another cymatics origin. Now like I said, it's very easy to make these drums. For example, we can add a kick on each 8th step, snare on each 8th step, and a hi-hat each 4. If you wanted to, you could just end it there. It's just very relaxing, very simple. But well, maybe we want to switch up the drums a little bit. So each eight steps works just like I showed you. What we can do is we can add a little variation. Maybe add a kick here and a kick here. Now this is quite a bit trial and error. You can just do this however you want really. Now let's move on to the hi-hats. For this loop, I'd like to put it on each four steps, but it depends on the tempo of your lo-fi you want, what kind of style you want it to be. But for this style, I want it to be quite slow. What we can do with the snare is we can put it on each eight. Now you could be done here, but we could also add percussion, we could add hi-hats in different steps, same thing with snares as well. Now a little thing we can do here is use swing. So let's say we put a hi-hat here, right? It doesn't sound too great by itself. But let's say we move the swing up 50%. It sounds a lot better. And just with swing, it opens up so many more opportunities. Maybe let's add a extra snare at the end here. Or we can maybe just do the hi-hats like this, having two. Now with the hi-hats, we can change the velocity to make it sound more human. So just go into the piano roll of the hi-hats, and what we're going to do is we're going to change every other hi-hat, and we're just going to lower its velocity, just like this. And that sounds good so far, but I want to add another element, and it's just going to be the simple percussion. With the percussion, I'm just going to put it each eight steps, like this.
And after listening back, I want to remove these hi-hats. It all just comes down to personal preference, really. There's not really any set way to do lo-fi drums. They're very unique. Lo-fi drums are not that hard to make. As long as you're using the right drums, it doesn't really matter how simple the drum pattern is. So we have pattern three here, which is very simple. And then we have pattern two, which is the more complex. And that sounds good by itself. Just very simple drums like this. And then this is the more complex one. What I would recommend is using this pattern, the very simple one, as your building blocks. Lo-fi drums really aren't that hard. As long as you think they sound well, that's all that really matters. And then like I showed you, even if you start off with something very simple like this, you can just build off of it. Like I said, if I can find the link for this lo-fi drum kit, then I'll put it in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, then please leave a like and subscribe. And have a good day.